Hey, mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. Sure, why not? Ready? Let's go. I'm surprised I won, honestly. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me, of all the times. God. <sighs> Real good. Take care of yourself, here. Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey. Good race. Could have gone either way. Yeah. Okay, there. This is my house! Who's talking now, huh? Oh, what you done? What you done? Son, I ain't leaving till I'm paid. And while I'm here, your situation's real precarious. This cash in my footlocker, I've been keeping it away from him. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it?
I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Come on now, boy. I need your money, tough guy. Well, try nothing dumb. To hell with you. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Here comes a big bat. Get in position. Now, open Son up for that bitch. Bat. Push in. Let's go. Oh, He'll remember the dead of Shady Bell.
There, boy. There we go. Partner? I go to hell. No call for that, hear me? Yep. Hey, who's there? Arthur. Hope you've been good out there. Working hard there? I guess. What? Yep. You okay, boy? <laughs> whoa, 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 you're okay, boy.
be on your way. You got a bad air about you.
Jackass! Help me! Please. I need medicine. Oh! Tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, the one with the pink flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, Mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can. You can say that again. Yep. Hey, boy. Move it. You ain't tough, my friend. I'll happily pull this. I'm talking. You're done. Trying to start something? Well, that's nice.
Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <laughs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wofford. We need a man on the cranker! Get him! You heard, Lindsay! Get to your place before we're seeing some fighting today! Ow! We lost the cranker! Keep pushing, boy! comes to it. Someone I don't know who this no account bounty hunting bastard is, but he's gonna know the right.
see that coat? That's Lindsay Wofford's. We're gonna take that body, mister. It's for Pooh. For you. Let that freak get away. Oh! He's getting away! <laughs> He's mine! a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, oh, let's get you back. Yeah. 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 You all right there, boy? I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. That's what they were, and not a penny more. That's it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Mister. Hey there, Mister. Hey there, Mister. Bonjour, Monsieur. Hello, ma'am. Hello. You got a problem? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this? Gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the barest woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? 
No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Are we doing this or not? Come on. Let's get this over with. Time to go. You gonna mount up? All right, let's go. Oh! You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Huh? That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. We should go on foot from here, Arthur. This way. See what's going on in here. Oh, someone already cleaned this one out. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Let's 
Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Hold on. Hey there, boy. Come on, let's keep on him. When my time comes, Arthur, Make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Hey, John. Over here. Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin Grave Robert. You've hit the big time. Be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Come on. There's 
Someone coming! Hide! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Back to Dutch. Just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. <sighs> okay, fella. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, Cavallo? That means hook. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. Just stick I had the best okay? time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Oh! You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? 
Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Anyway, we got Jack, and that's all that matters for right now. Come on. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. <laughs> 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 
All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. Come on. You must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Hi, Charles. Go ahead, Pam. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Orchard. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All righty, Arthur. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't so that's a good idea. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maples, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. I tell you boys about the time I was hanged. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Hey, tell us again. Hey. Room for you here, Arthur? Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I feel like I can breathe again. Happy Miss Grimshaw. Very well done, Arthur. Let's have some fun. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. He shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> Was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> I'll be civil, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Welcome home, little Jack. Oh, once I'm gonna turn in. Turn in. Lay down a main lane. My master used to be my mistress did the same. To learn one more. And a sailor boy came ashore. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him. All good. My sailor boy, singing homeboys home, where I want to be. Homeboys home with the girl on our You know, boys, there ain't no being saved. Let him find the Ain't no being lost. Them... <laughs> Fox was over long ago, or never happened, was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out, you was born, you die, in between you do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying that's all there is <laughs> ain't no old man judging man ain't no heaven <laughs> And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. Oh no, I'm okay, thank you. That's it. Suit yourself then. See it for what the hell it is.
for me. There's no on board the Heartland stage, pulling all about the sheets. His bed bugs knew about the sheets. He started as a thieving line in 1849. In all oppositions, they defiled the people, much from hog or die. The crowd in here was smelly man. His fattening hogs are in a pinch. Oh, a war of man. Always a pleasure. Hello. Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. See? See? what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith. Is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise. Do we have to go away again? You gonna get up? W what's the problem, Arthur? Are you hassling me even when I'm asleep now? Oh, sorry, Dutch. Sure. I sometimes rob a bank on me. You'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Yeah. That's true. Oh, bro. I am really drunk.
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jay. There she is. I think I might have had too much fun last night. You okay? I'm guessing I had some fun last night. My lord, you're a mess. Don't you start. It's depressing to watch. Why do you have to be such a bastard? You all know how it's gonna end. I'll just ignore you then. You're gonna freeze in those clothes. You okay, Charles? Yeah. You did good getting the boy back. All in the past now. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Leopold. Arthur. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalinda's finally showing his true colors.